All right, so today we're getting back to our roots a little bit, so to speak, and we're going to rank a burger, which we have not done in quite a while. So far on our quest for the best burger in Florence, you can see that we've got six on our list, and today I went to Locals Grill on 2nd Loop Road. I'm going to open this burger. The first thing I noticed, the bun is extremely soft. That's a good thing. So I got this one with chili, slaw, mayo, and ketchup. Remember, when we're rating these, we're mostly just looking at the meat in the bun because that's what's really going to create the degrees of separation. Everything else comes down to personal preference. I will tell you, and I had a couple of these on the way over. These fries, they're like fried chips. And I am digging these. These are, these are mighty fine right here. I'm going to talk about locals here in a second. But first, let's give this a shot. Okay, so our meat is lightly seasoned. I believe this is cheddar cheese we've got. That might be American. <clears throat> I can't really tell. There's not as much chili... And slaw, particularly the slaw in there, as I thought there would be, but it's not really a problem. <laughs> I know I talk about my grandma a lot on here, but it reminds me a lot of the cheeseburger that my grandma would make at lunchtime when I was with her that she would cook right there on the stove in the pan. Bun is really soft. Bun reminds me a lot of the Del May bun. This is one of the thicker burgers that we've had on the entire list. In fact, I would say, if I'm recalling correctly, this and the bird's nest burger would be the two thickest ones that we've had so far. So I'm gonna rate this here in a second. Let's talk a little bit about Locals. So Locals is right there on Second Loop, right by the trampoline park. They used to have Jamaican items on their menu. I don't know what happened. I don't know where the guy went that was doing that portion of the menu. I don't know the story. What I do know is this the first time I've had their burger? Because anytime I went to locals in the past, that's what I went for. Now, I've had some other things since, but not the cheeseburger. But the point is, I used to get the jerk chicken that he would make with the red beans and rice and the cabbage with a side of fried plantains. That was excellent. I took friends to get it before. Some said that it was too hot. I didn't think so. I thought that the spice level on it was perfect. But yeah, it was a leg quarter smothered in that jerk sauce that he made man that thing was fire but um it's been gone for a while i don't i don't know how long i just know that i went up there maybe a year ago or something like that and i uh, went to make that order and they said that it was not available so that was kind of disappointing but it's still a real popular little lunch spot there was quite a few people in there when i went and got this just now see the hard thing about this is is doing these spaced out makes it difficult It'd really be easier to rank these if we just lined them all up, you know, tried them all simultaneously. So what I've done, you've got basically four categories. You got elite, exceptional, basic, and then I personally wouldn't eat that. Because in all reality, we're sitting here rating food. But what really matters practically is where would you eat in real time, in real life? And so for me, the best way for me to relate to you in the best way that I can, what you need to know is describe whatever I'm eating. But really, it comes down to would I go there again or not? Or in comparison to the options that exist, would I personally choose that place? Keep it in mind that a lot of stuff is personal preference. And who am I to say who's right or wrong? So a lot of this is very subjective beauties in the eye of the beholder. So even if there's a place where I said I personally wouldn't go there, that doesn't mean that you might not want to. Now, that's not what I'm about to say about this, for the record. The locals fans are sweating. This is definitely going to be basic, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Basic just means there's nothing about it that really wows me. It's just basic. So like I said, I know I talk about my grandmother's kitchen a lot. Y'all have to pardon me on that. Obviously, it made a great mark and impression on my life. Let me start by saying this, because we're not ranking these, but these are exceptional. In fact... I will go as far as to say that this is one of the best, to me, French fry options that I'm aware of in the entire city. Fast food or not. I really like these. They're crispy and meaty. I needed one more packet of ketchup, though. All right, so this is tough. And being that so much time has passed, it makes it tougher. Let me say this. I've put Buddy's Burger and 
the SC Real Foods burger in the exceptional category. This is not going to be on that level. So out of the other four, you've got Burger Bar, Stefano's, Bird's Nest, and Del May. So as I alluded to earlier, the question becomes, what would I see myself eating most frequently? And I think out of those four options, well, five now, including this one, Del May would still be at the top. So we keep Del May in third place. But I actually think, and I can hear people get mad about this now because there's some real loyal patrons to some of these places out there. They don't all comment on the video, but I see people around town, like people make comments to me directly and some aren't happy about my opinion about this stuff, but it's just food, man. I'm going to have to say, I think I'd rather have this burger than the bird's nest burger, especially if you throw in the fries. I'm not considering that. I'm just saying that, especially if you throw that in, I would choose this over bird's nest and therefore over Stefano's and Burger Bar as well. So what that means is the Locals Grill Burger is now currently in fourth place on our ranking. Let me know down in the comments the next place that I should go. Just remember, we're not doing franchises. If we were, five guys would be up in the top three somewhere. So it needs to be a locally owned mom and pops business, whatever you want to call it. No franchise. What's your favorite place in Florence? Let me know down in the comments. Where should we go next? I'm putting Locals at fourth place. Some of the deciding factors for this one were the buns nice and soft, but the meat on this was thicker. So I like smash burgers. Some people are not fans, but that's not all I'm ever looking for. So sometimes having that thicker patty is a good thing and it was pretty solid. So there you have it. Fourth place, Locals Grill. Uh, I hate they don't have the Jamaican offering on the menu. Don't know what happened with that. Really, it's not even my business, but I'll tell you this. It was really good. So if he's cooking somewhere locally and y'all know where to find him, let me know because I will go. But in the meantime, there you have it. Let me know if you disagree. I know that some of you certainly will. And that's perfectly OK. In the meantime, I appreciate y'all's viewership. Y'all take care. God willing, we'll see you in the next video.